Hello, today is Sunday. It is February 24th, and it's the final hour of Sunday. This is Y Kingdom Ministries. It's YKingdom.com. This is our second podcast of the year. We just bought a new microphone and a new headset for my beautiful co-host, Laura. What? Yes, sir. Yeah. So now she has her own microphone, and the sound quality should be a lot better if she can stay at the same distance from the microphone. Anyway, uh, we have done a lot this year. Uh, just this weekend has just been crazy. I mean, uh, yesterday we went to the barbecue championship. Houston Livestock and Rodeo Barbecue Cook-Off. The barbecue cook-off. I mean, there was companies all over the United States that not only have a restaurant, but they, like, built a restaurant. There was, like, 50 of them that was right there in the parking lot at NRG Stadium. And I'm talking about setups. There was million-dollar setups, it looked like. Yeah. I was surprised that, uh, what was it, uh, United Airlines, the 777 barbecue team, you know, you would think they'd have something small. They had, like, a pavilion. And there was big private parties. I mean, literally, it looked like restaurants with waterfalls and canyons, and they were smoking alligators and what else? Uh, pigs. I mean, <laughs> one of them had like this. Uh, it was like a a water um, a water powered turn thing. What is that thing called that turns the pig? I don't know. It was it was, it was like it was like what you see on a steamboat or something with yeah. the water wheel. And the water was like poured on it with a hose that was pumped out of this this wa- this it was like pumped out of a tank, and it went onto this water wheel and it was turning around and on the other side it was a pig full pig that was turning around over this open fire it was yeah. unbelievable the spit spit yeah it's a word <laughs> it was unbelievable and all the the best pit masters all over the world uh, showing off their barbecue skills and the private parties and there was concerts and stuff we didn't make it for the concerts and stay late but they had carnival you know, rides and things like that. But we went there yesterday, and today we've seen some alligators in the wild, didn't we? (laughs) Yes, we did. We went to Brazos Bend State Park. Where? Brazos Bend State Park. Where's that at? It's near Meadville, on your Meadville, Damon path. (laughs) Yeah, we're, we're in Richmond, Texas, so it was about 30 minutes away. But you're walking down this trail... And it's not like you're in a zoo or any kind of, like, controlled environment. You're walking around this swamp that had, like, a walk path at a state park. And literally, you'll walk and say, oh, there's one. I mean, it's, I mean, if he got hungry or if he decided that you were, you know, going to be lunch, there would be really no stopping him. I mean, they were right there. Yeah. And we had a bunch of pictures, and the kids were there. And I guess the, the biggest part of safety, they said, just keep your dogs on a short lease because the dogs going over there sniffing the alligators, I mean, you'd be out of there. Yeah. But, you know, so we've seen that today. That was fun um, for us, fun for the whole family kind of thing. And, you know, since the last time we talked, uh, we had just got back from Jamaica. Jamaica, Virginia. <laughs> yeah, in Virginia for that week-long trip and, and a week-long in uh, Co- uh, what, Cozumel, and the Grand Cayman Islands, and um, Valentine's Day this year, which was a week or so ago, we talked to our favorite Carnival Cruise uh, agent who called us up and gave us some good news about a a cruise. So we are returning for round number two, uh, the first one for this year. But where are we going? We're going on an eight-day cruise. We're going to Key West and then Freeport, Bahamas, and then Nassau. The Nassau and the private. They own a private island. What's that called? Something K. Ma- uh, Half Moon K. Half Moon. Half that's Moon it. K. So, so we're going on that one May twenty-fifth. Yep. So yeah, God's really working. Just some crazy things we Blessings. couldn't ask or think. We had the backyard torn up today. We had tents set up. We had, what, three tents set mm-hmm. up in the backyard, airing them out, looking at some air mattresses, looking at some camping gear that we may or may not have, fishing rods that may or may not have string in them. And next weekend, we are going to try our best to go camping for the first time. I'm personally not a big camper, but we are going to go camping in <laughs> some tents and try that primitive thing. Uh, you know, kind of like what you'd see at a homeless shelter, sort of. But we're going <laughs> to no. try to make it as nice as possible. 
and uh, live that life and teach the kids, uh, you know, there's another way of living that's outside of the PlayStation and outside of air conditioning. And, um, you know, where, where a man becomes a man and the old school kind of thing. And, you know, uh, you know, as the women, you know, the way life used to be and, you know, getting out there in the wilderness and you know, getting connected with, you know, fishing and outdoors. And I think it's important to teach the kids that we're going to do it next week. And where, where are we going again? Uh, we're in Lake Somerville. Lake Somerville. Where's that at? That's just north of Brennan, Texas, where Bluebell ice cream is made. I'm sorry. Did you say Bluebell ice cream? <laughs> I did. Will they have any ice cream at the campsite? Well, if you go to the store and buy it, of course. <laughs> oh, if you go to the store. Yeah. <laughs> they do have the Bluebell ice cream tour. I went through that, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be getting back uh, 30 pounds heavier. <laughs> <laughs> so that's always cool. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we've had a lot of exciting things happen. Uh, what else is going on? As far as work, I mean, we, you know, we've been marketing uh, big time, kingdom business. There's been some new business clients that have came in. Yeah. We've had um, True Fence and Roof. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, True Fence and Roof out of Dallas. Yep. That's a new company that has marketed with us. We are now doing the website creation and social media. It's actually a friend of ours named Ron. Uh, we're doing that. Um, we have uh, Glenn Watkins. He is, you know, trying to get his feet wet. Uh, he's he's trying to, you know, do anything he can for the kingdom. The guy is a warrior for sure. Absolutely. We are working on a mini series, um, a five part series about why kingdom ministries and what why, the W, the H, the Y. Uh, little some sh- little short stories in there. So we are working on that together, trying to make as much progress as we can. But we do have series one that's already completed, so we have that. What else do we have going on? You know, the last two months have been very busy. We built. Fa- um, I mean, we fences. built some fences. How many fences? Have we, I mean. We're constantly building one after another after another. And, you know, it it may not seem like a blessing to you when the wind knocks your fence down or whatever, but we've been blessed with a lot of people needing a fence. I know for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, one person's, you know, misfortune is another person's fortune, you know, especially in the construction and repair business. But, yeah, we've definitely been fortunate that these fences here in the Houston, Texas area haven't been built that great and everything so there's also um our buddy craig wallace uh with nafax north american firewood exchange and brian terry in the colorado you know we haven't been able to chance to fully get in board and get in line with how many hours it would take to you know get a something going here in the houston area but brian has been contacting us quite frequently he's been passing his people mentioning us to some people out there in Colorado, so we're excited about Y Kingdom Ministries and our reach and how far it's going there. And uh, what else have we done? Uh, I started making t-shirts. T-shirts, I know. <laughs> there is some awesome t-shirts. Right now, I'm actually wearing one. It says, it began with our love for him, capital H. Talking about Jesus, and it has the longitude, latitude, and that was the very first kiss. The longitude and latitude, and uh, that was my Valentine's Day present. Yes, sir. And uh, and of course, on the back of these T-shirts, there's a lot of cool ones for Valentine's Day and every kind of occasion. They're very nifty and clever uh, wording and Bible verses and stuff. And on the back of every T-shirt, it says YKingdom.com, so that's cool. Uh, the truck, the truck has um, some nice decals on the back. We've got some cool fence signs, and we got a new trailer, a 20 foot. Double axle trailer. We've been blessed with more fence jobs. We're building a roof this week. God is yeah, good. Just God has been so good to us in business. We've been marketing like crazy. People have been calling. Everyone's been asking, what is this Y Kingdom Ministries? What is this kingdom business? What is all this stuff that we hear about? And uh, it's exciting to tell them kind of what we're doing and what direction that we're going. And a lot of the customers that really want to get involved, you know, Aside from the fact they want a reputable contractor doing their uh, work on their house, but yeah, we've been we've been really doing good. We've uh, we've been actually having the ability to pick and choose what projects we want to do. So that's that's been a great blessing. So anything else that I'm forgetting? Um. Mike. 
A friend of mine named Mike that used to work for me a couple years ago, he's called me up. He's in Nebraska. There's 12 inches of snow that just fell. He's looking for a job. I mean, uh, it's not every day that someone calls and says they love you, especially a man talking to another man. But he was talking about we used to work together before, and he said, man, Ron, you've always treated me right. You've always done right behind me, whether I've deserved it or appreciated it or, or not. And uh, I just love you for that. And it kind of was kind of I was taken back a little bit. But he uh, is supposed to be trying to come to the Houston area in the next week or two. And he's going to be working with Y Kingdom Business. So we hope for a traveler's grace. And I think there's a little family situation between him and his girlfriend. But he wants to get into the ministry with us. And he wants to go into the drug rehabilitation. God has put it into his heart five years ago. He's actually seen it. Uh, a vision of him working, he was explaining to me. He has that gift. And... Um, you know, that's the same dream that we have. And, you know, it hasn't come to fruition yet. But when you're getting aligned, these divine alignments with the right people at the right time and the right place so the right things can happen, you know, it's it's only God who does those kind of things. So it's like holy awe. Yeah. You know, I'm in awe, you know, all the time of, Man, you did it again. I mean, I knew I knew you've done it, but you just did it again. It was unbelievable how he just does it again and again and again for us. And, you know, how you can be unappreciative sometimes that you're so blessed or you're wanting to be blessed in other ways that you're not. So you're saying, man, why can't you just move here without saying, thank God you moved there. So I'm here. But, you know, it's once we get what we want, we want something else. But it's important to think about where we are and what we have in comparison to if you woke up tomorrow with only the things that you were thankful for today, what would you have? A lot of people would wake up with nothing. So, you know, it's important to be thankful for what you have because life's not really as much about getting what you want. It's about wanting what you already have. And we're really blessed and we're fortunate for the things that we have. Beyond measure. Beyond measure. So anyway, just to keep it short, that's all we have uh, so far. That's a little update for Y Kingdom Ministries. Uh, the number for the ministries is 346-291-3131. If you want to get involved in any area, or you can visit us at ykingdom.com. Once again, my name is Ron. And I'm Lauren. And we love you guys. <laughs>